peeps, it's just Yo Zerk Geek. I barely made the 9.35 ferry. I'm so tired now, but it's gonna be worth it because today I'm going to Bainbridge Island. I'm super excited because Bainbridge has one of my favorite bakeries and a really cool reserve that makes you feel like you're the only person on the island. Now, I really need some water. So I'm finally here at the Bledel Reserve. It's a little sunny. I'm hoping to get out of here before the thunderstorms hit, but for now it's gorgeous. This place is amazing. It's about a two mile loop. It's not too hard to do. I'd say if you're in a wheelchair, this is sadly a no go, but they do have areas that you can get to. If you're at least somewhat mobile and can do a reasonably flat path, it's a good nice hike. I mean, I can do it even with my lack of athletic ability, so I feel like most of you should be able to do it too. And if you have time, it's absolutely worth the trip. God, it's so pretty out. There's one thing that you need to know once you come here after April, apparently. I am seeing tons of stinging nettles. I'm gonna try and find some to point out to you guys because they're right off the trail. Close enough that if you have a small child or someone who wants to poke the plants, you should know what they look like. Here's the path. Here's the nettle. You'll be looking for also white flowers. When it gets taller, this can be up to like three-ish feet tall. They are edible. Clearly don't pick things here. But yeah, know what this is. No go. biggest thing about Liddell, and it's hit me both times I've been here now, is that it's so quiet. Like, there are people here. I'm not the only person. That's all you get. Okay, like only a few of you are going to be even remotely excited about this. But if you can see these tubes sticking out of the ground, this whole mass here is one pitcher plant. And they are native species. We do have a few. I don't know much about this particular guy, but you rarely get to see them this big and so close when they're not in, say, a greenhouse. So this is just... I geek out over this. You don't have to. Okay, like seriously, what kind of wonderland nonsense is this? We have, this is the main house. And then there's a Japanese tea garden up there. So yeah, but that was a, is it worth your time? Yes. There are occasionally Groupons, but I know that $17 to go here is a bit steep for some people. I will say you need to give yourself at least an hour and a half, if not two hours to really properly soak it in. So I'm here at Blackbird and this is where I play. And look at all that 
you to hold cream cheese. Yes. I don't know why they're alive. Now I'm gonna try for the full piece because it's huge. Okay, there's lemon zest in the cream cheese frosting people. This is not a joke. And it's just a little dense, but there's so much going each bite, and you've got nuts. And there's so many of nuts in here, but I get to write a textbook on nuts, and then look at all the carrot. Yeah. Um, if they sold the frosting by the time, I would buy that. So we're at round two, the Gem the Crap, which is right next to more ice cream race. So we're thinking ice cream, sweet stuff, and it's also really close to Blackbird. They're basically all in the same little horseshoe where Blackbird's in the front and Gem the Crap's in the back. This is basically a salad with cheese and garlic in a crepe. And I need these in like real food on occasion. Um, these are strawberries. Like, check this out. This is just like one bite of this. Oh my god. We got spinach, we got mushrooms, we got broccoli. There's really a salad in here. And cheese. Mm. Mm. It's nice and cheesy, peppery. It's a warm salad thing with some bread stuff. I do come here for sweet, but I like your savory just a bit more. has a little bit of a secret. There are actually a couple bakeries and one of them, Hitchcock Deli. I didn't get my favorite, the chocolate cookie, because they were out and so go early if you want them. They are really good. But I got the oatmeal cookie and so my thought was, hey, Mora's right here. I've got a cookie. Ice cream sandwich time. Yeah. Yeah. Bags. Bags. Yeah. I mean, look at this cookie. It's beautiful. It's got cranberries, dried cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. I mean, it's beautiful. And my ice cream is just a melty dark chocolate mess. Yes. This is not the right spoon to do this with, but what else? This cookie is falling apart. So this is one of the drippiest, most beautiful creations I've had in some time. At least it's made in some time. I hope I can eat this and not destroy everything. I do have a drip cup. Hmm. That was a fail. It's a really nice combination of dark chocolate and melty and gooey and chewy and just make one yourself. I'm gonna make this into a sundae so I can actually eat it and not hurt myself. <laughs> Ta-da, my solution. Much safer for me to eat. Okay, so yeah, that's Bainbridge in a nutshell. Now I've barely covered much of what's going on in Bainbridge. I mean, there are more bakeries, there's more stuff. That's just for this tiny area of Winslow. Some things to consider. One, as we get closer to mid-May and tourist season, it's gonna be much harder to get in quickly. I'd recommend going early and be ready for that. Two, if you're gonna do Bledel, have a full day available. I rushed it. You really need more like two hours to be on site and probably a half hour each way for the buses. Be ready for that. If you're just doing Winslow, I think you can do it a half day. I've done that in a quick in and out. There's way more to do, including the museums. They're really good. Just go explore and have a day of it. So yeah, I'd love to know in the comments below. What would you like to have tried for my trip? And as always, I'm Jess, Sailor Dessert Geek, hoping you have some time to go out and eat all the things.